Again, if you hadn't realized it before, Evie Kiyoshi is speaking fluent Japanese for our TJPW representation. One of the best in the game. cutest in the world herself. You cannot talk about TJPW without talking about this woman. A fixture since the day we opened doors. The ace for a reason, our pink Riker and our princess of princess champion. Introducing Princess of the Princess of the Mamoiro Striker, Yamajita A little backstory for those uninitiated, the relationship between Prestige Wrestling and TJPW began in spring of 2022 when Maki Ito and Miyu Yamashita were brought over for their first ever American independent dates for night one and night two of Prestige Wrestling's Roseland 3. In the last year and a half, this partnership has blossomed and come to a head here tonight. But I cannot think of any women more appropriate to main event tonight than one, two million themselves. Ito and Yamashita, yeah, friends, longtime friends, longtime rivals. Been a tag team for quite a while, but they really kind of came together and I'd say like 2021. Former Princess Tag Champions as well, but it's been a minute since they tagged. They last tagged in September of this past year. Whereas, well, their opponents are currently holding Impact Tag Team Goals. Soon to be TNA. Hold on, Beta, I'm, I'm sorry. This is the best entrance music I've ever heard. This is incredible. And introducing their opponent. This is the team of Masha Slamovic and Killer Kelly. This is. Bonded in 
blood, Veda Scott. Matter of fact, the first time we saw Killer Kelly in a prestige wrestling ring was against Masha Slamovich at Hybrid Moments earlier this year. Since then, so much has gone down. They have captured the Impact Knockouts tag team titles on a seemingly unstoppable reign, though perhaps one, two million will be the ones to stop them. Well, and it's interesting because MK Ultra as a tag team, they haven't really been tagging together for all that long. I think they've had five or six matches as a team. But those matches have been incredibly right. successful. It's a type of sisterhood you can only glean from, well, making each other bleed. And there's another layer to this match that we gotta talk about. Although we have MK Ultra versus one to one million, we gotta talk about Masha Slamovich and Mia Yamashita. They are already scheduled and slated to face each other January 1st for TJPW. Th that's got to be a factor in this match. Yeah, Slamovich challenging Yamashita for the Princess of Princess Championship in Cork and Hall this January. No doubt looking for a mental edge, looking for momentum heading into that matchup. Of course, yeah, Yamashita and Slamovich, we mentioned Slamovich's first foray into independent wrestling here in America was as a part of Roseland 3, the Pink Striker defeating Russian Dynamite on that night. And right now, we're getting deja vu to Roseland 3. We're getting a preview of January in Cork. And listen to this place, Veda Scott. I mean, it is also worth noting that Masha Slamovich holds one singles victory over Miyu Yamashita. So this match on January 4th has even more implications in terms of, well, it's kind of the rubber match in their series. If you can pull out a victory here in this tag match to go into January 4th, I mean, that's gonna be an advantage for either Miyu or Masha. Right now it is Masha Slamovich staying atop Miyu Yamashita. These, these two know each other so well. You mentioned two matchups before, one apiece. As a wrestler yourself, Veda Scott, to step back in the ring with someone who you have beaten, who has beaten you, th 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 there's nothing like it. The experience factor Whoa. goes such a long way. Well, we can see it there. These two know each other so well, able to duck. And you watch them with a smile. You've got to be here, fans. Keep this Wrestle Universe subscription going. Aki Ito tagging in. Killer Kelly is legal as well. These two no strangers to one another in their own right. I actually just called a match between these two a few weeks ago. But the crowd here at the Vermont is decidedly pro Maki Ito. And so is Killer Kelly, look at it. Thumbs up, cheering him on. Stalking her way towards her, there is no one quite like Killer Kelly. Oh. It's a cute off. Killer Kelly is fangirling here, Veda. There, there's no way around it. This is delightful. Oh, well, again, there you go. Ito seems shocked, but now turning things around. Oh, Kelly held on and what? Oh. And oh, a poke. To the eyes. Yeah, well. How cute. Not cute whatsoever. The head might be iron, but the eyes not so. Oh, and a headbutt to the back of the spine. Kokeshi there from Maki Ito. 